Welcome in the fourth section of our course. In this section we'll be doing deep learning for natural language processing. So we'll be doing things with natural language processing and first video will be about analyzing input text data used for NLP modeling. NLP is a shortcut for natural language processing. Second video will be about leveraging word to vec with Deep Learning 4J. Then we'll be feeding features from text into Deep Learning Network. Fourth video will be about leveraging Text Iterator API from Deep Learning 4J. So we will extend the Text Iterator that will feed our data model and our Deep Learning model with the actual data and we'll plug it into Deep Learning 4J API. Finally, we'll be focusing on training and cross-validating our results. So we'll be validating if our models worked as expected and we will see actual numbers that shows the precision and other measurements of our models. And this is a first video in which we'll be analyzing input text data used for NLP modeling. So we'll be looking at the raw textual features, we'll be loading those features into deep learning program and we'll be understanding feature needed for a model and needed for what we want to achieve. So here is our natural language modeling using deep learning approach code. So first thing that we need to note and focus on is of course an input feature vector. So this is a raw textual data. So this is a file with some sentences that are in an English language and are fairly random, but we want to achieve so the human can tell them. So for example, there was less than a year ago and then there's another sentence like so it's not going to get in my way and so on and so on. We can see that this file contains a lot of textual data and we can leverage the data for building some natural language processing, deep learning processing using this specific language. That is an English in this example. So here, let's start our code. So we are just loading our resource using class path resource and we are getting the underlying file. It will be important for us because we'll be leveraging that in the subsequent code calls. So we need to create an abstract cache that will be a vocabulary word. So let's look at this API. So this is from Deep Learning 4J, models and word to vec. So this is our word to vec algorithm, algorithm that is used to transform our textual data. So if you will go back to it, we need to transform such sentence into feature vector. So we need to have some numbers that are describing that data properly. And there are a lot of different algorithms that work that way, but we'll be leveraging words to vec from the Deep Learning 4J package and it can be used throughout vocab word API. So we are building an abstract cache of vocab word and also we will want to use it properly in the subsequent sections. We'll be building basing line iterator. So let's take a look at this. So if you remember from the section number two, we implemented our own iterator. Here we are using sentence iterator. This is a fairly generic iterator that can iterate over textual data. For example, here in our textual data, every new line is split using new line character. So sentence has own line. So we can leverage that fact and reuse existing basic line iterator to split our text into sentences. So we are passing a file to it and we'll be splitting it using this specific iterator. So we have a basic line iterator that will be used to our splitting sentences. Once we have our iterator ready, we can tokenize our input. Tokenizing is very important step because our models need to work based on the specific token, specific word. We cannot build a model that works for a big sentence because it is too much. We cannot fit it into one feature vector. So we need to tokenize it. So we have an iterator that it has a file with textual data underneath and we are creating tokenizer factory. So tokenizer factory is created here. We are creating token preprocessor using common preprocessor. This is also available in Deep Learning 4J API and we can leverage it in our code. So it have some simple rules, like for example, it makes normalization of our data. So everything will be done to lowercase and also it streams some specific white words. Then we are using sentences transformer and we are passing the iterator that should be used to feed that transformer. And we using tokenizer factory 
to tokenize our input. And finally, we are returning sentences transformer that will be used to transform our sentences.